Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to render faster using your GPU in Blender. I'll also be showing you how to do this in the latest version of Blender, 2.79 Blender, and on macOS. So let's get started. So before finding out how we're going to actually enable the GPU and do all that, we're going to first need to learn these three words. CPU, GPU, and integrated graphics. So what's a CPU? A CPU, also known as the processor, is uh, practically the brain of a computer. Mostly everything is processed through there and Blender by default renders with the CPU. Your CPU can be made by Intel, AMD, and what's a GPU? A GPU, also known as a graphics card, is a component in your computer that is designed to render out graphics. So anything 3D or even 2D that happens in games or 3D software, the graphics card is designed to handle. And these graphics cards can be made by NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, so uh, yeah. And what are integrated graphics? Integrated graphics pretty much just a mini GPU inside of your CPU and it basically handles your screen. So usually if you get a laptop, the display should be handled by the integrated graphics of your CPU. Now, if you're missing either a GPU or integrated graphics, then you might not want to follow this tutorial because using your GPU whilst it's already being used for your display, uh, that might just risk stability and performance. Same with using integrated graphics for rendering, so make sure you're using your dedicated GPU, which is the GPU meant for all these different tasks and uh, yeah. So before we do anything, I just want to point out um, that if your drivers are outdated, this might make uh, rendering a bit buggy or laggy or you know it might not even work at all and drivers are pretty much um, just a piece of software that tells the computer how the component works I guess I don't really know how to describe it but um, you will need to update these if you're on Windows if they're outdated and you want the best performance. You should get drivers with your laptop, um, however they might not be updated, so I'm just going to link tutorials in the description for upgrading your drivers for Intel, AMD and Nvidia. And of course if you're using Mac, you don't need to really worry about drivers. So let's enable our GPU. So in the latest version of Blender, go to Edit, uh, Preferences and go to System. Right here you'll see Cycles Render Devices. There are five different options right here, and I'm going to walk you through uh, which one you should choose. So by default, this should be on none. Have me, it's already on optics. If you have an NVIDIA GeForce graphics card, then these two options are the ones that you're going to have to actually look at. So CUDA is for if you have NVIDIA GeForce GTX graphics cards. Optics is for the RTX graphics cards. If you have an AMD graphics card, you need to go to HIP. And if you have an Intel graphics card, you're going to need to go to one API. And you might see two options depending on how supported your integrated graphics are with rendering. As you can see mine are and the integrated graphics name is from my CPU. You should be able to recognize whether it's your CPU or not because of the name. If you can't recognize it then just google the name and find out if it's a CPU or a GPU and that should help you out. What happens if you have more than two options? If you've got more than two options, then check any that you want apart from your CPU. I've already checked my GPU right here, the uh, RTX 3050 laptop GPU. Let me just tell you why I'm not using CUDA. CUDA is mainly for GTX graphics cards. We've already established that. But the whole thing about CUDA is that it doesn't use your ray tracing cores. Optics has the support for this and RTX graphics cards come with ray tracing cores and this will just speed up renders by according to stuff i've seen on mine 60 percent so if you really have the choice between these two definitely use optics and if you're on mac just follow the same steps except in cycles render devices you will only see two options and that will be none and metal just make sure that the one that you're checking under metal has gpu in parentheses now we can close out of that and i'm just going to quickly show you how to do this in blender 2.79 so here we are in the old version of Blender, I'm just going to close out the splash screen right here, uh, just go to File, go to User Preferences, 
go to system and go to cycles compute device change it to CUDA and check your GPU right here. So let's find out how we actually use our GPU in our project. So here we are in a scene from the Hazen contest animation video I made. If you haven't seen that yet, check it out. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like rendering from the CPU first. As you can see, if I go into rendered view, it's kind of slow. Um, so now I'm gonna be showing you how to enable the GPU. So right here in the properties, you'll see cycles, um, features, supported devices, CPU, and really Really, what you want to keep your eye on is device. Go to a drop down, click on it, and change it to GPU compute. There we are, it's a lot faster. You can see <laughs> it renders a lot faster. So let's do a comparison in speed. I'm going to be rendering with the CPU on denoising with the open image denoise, and I'm going to be doing the GPU with optics. We'll get onto this whole denoising thing later on. So the CPU goes first. Let's render. Right, there we go. We've just finished rendering with the CPU and that's been one minute and 18 seconds. Let's see what the GPU can do. So I'm gonna to go to slot two and I'm gonna change the device to GPU compute. And I'm gonna change the denoiser to optics. And we're gonna render again and see what happens. And we've finished rendering. Nine seconds. That, that nine seconds versus how long? One minute and 18 seconds. I don't know about this visual bug where the curtain's green on the uh, optics render and it's uh, black on the CPU render, but what we're looking at is performance. And this is insane. So that's an 87% speed increase, which is just insane. That I literally, it's, I cannot believe it. Let me just show you how to use the GPU in Blender 2.79. Let's just go from Blender render to Cycles render. And right here at the right again, under render, change the device from CPU to GPU compute. And if we change the view to rendered, it should work. Of course, I say it should work, but it hasn't worked here. And that's because my CUDA version is newer than 8.6. So my graphics card isn't actually able to render this because it's too new, I guess. Of course, I've only gotten this from online forums, so I don't know how entirely true that is. But at the same time, this version of Blender is actually quite old, and I don't even think RTX existed when this came out. And so you may have noticed that um, when we actually go and check out this whole Cycles Compute device, on macOS there is no option for metal rendering. Yeah, this is a bit sad, but at the same time it does really show that you should be using the latest version of Blender. I'll talk more about this later on. So denoising, I just need to show you the difference between these two because there have been three different denoises that are officially in Blender, not as in add-ons like the super denoiser. So the first one was NLM, which is used in uh, Blender 2.79. And then we got open image denoise. And after open image denoise, then we got optics. So open image denoise versus optics, what is the difference? Open image denoise is made by Intel and optics is made by by NVIDIA. Both of these use AI to denoise, and the two differences I've seen are the speed and the actual look of the render itself. So if we take a look at uh, viewpoint denoising, because I'm not really rendering this all out again, if we go through open image denoise, you will see it looks like this, still slightly noisy, but it's got those details, whereas if I change this to optics, it loses those more, and sometimes it even shows noise whilst like being denoised. It doesn't lose all these details, of course. It's just that open image denoise looks better. So if you want to sacrifice speed for the looks, then go for open image denoise, but you're going to be wanting a faster render, just about good looking as well. Then use optics haven't run into many issues with optics. Uh, I have in a Hazel contest video, but it was only once or twice. And why should you use the latest version of Blender? Now I'm saying this whilst not actually using the latest version, I'm using 3.5 instead of 3.5.1. But the difference 
is absolutely tiny, you should really be using at least close to the latest version of Blender, at least Blender 3.0. The whole issue with not using the latest version of Blender is that you're losing out on a lot of cool new tutorials new features, stability improvements, performance improvements. In fact, when Blender 3.0 came out, we got a seven times faster cycles render engine. And you know, you get optics denoising, you get metal rendering too. In fact, metal rendering hasn't been in Blender for that long. I, I don't know when it first came out, but it hasn't been in there for that long. In general, Blender rendering has gotten faster through each different version. So that's why I recommend using the latest version. And also, using the latest version, lets you use cool rigs by me like fluid rig but I'm just biased anyways guys thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed it hope it helped you and I will see you next time bye